search stock images in Pixabay. You can also download this uh, from the web uh, online. This one. Click on 3D parallax. I maintain it as landscape. You can have other sizes if you want. Square as well. So this building is very symmetrical. So this picture. Left hand, press space bar. And you can resize this and then use this to move this around. So it makes it easier to work on. So step number one is to cut the image. I will cut into one, two, and three on both sides. And also I cut the middle one and then the middle one, the, the middle road strip. So click, control, control, click. Yeah, control and click here. Right, and here we go. So you got the first one. So once it's done, labor it quickly. I call it left. Yeah, left one. So now I'm going to cut a new object. Click, cut new object again. Click, control click. Okay, control click. Yeah, cut another one here. So label the object so that it's easier for you to see later on up there right one okay. so we're going to continue on finishing again the next one cut the project cut it and click control yeah. so you see this little bit of a gap here you can click on it and put it over so that you have a much better one. Okay, here is label it, left two. And do the same here, cut new one, control click, and do another one. So here also adjust it a little bit, make sure you cover them. And call this right two. And finish it off, cut a new one, and now we can do control click. Right, just a little bit. left three one more to go here control click stay put here one adjust it a little bit okay you can always come back to adjust it yeah so this is uh right okay. so you got six right and okay. now we do the middle one control click down here 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 yeah right so you get the idea, right? So I put this as middle end. So you have all this cut up, and then the last one to do is the middle one. Control, click, yeah, right here, right here. Here we go. And call this to the road okay there you go so we're done with the uh, cutting up the objects and then you click next 
and you can always adjust these little gaps yeah and you just go back and adjust it to make sure that it is all well cut up so the next thing here is to start cloning so what i do is i remove all the buildings and clone up with the skies as a background and then the road just a little bit here start cloning and you can always adjust the radius here to clone okay so you have got the sky here And then start cloning. Yeah. So need a little bit of practice in your cloning. Yeah. And as you go. When you're done with the cloning, it will look something like this. So all the white skies here and this bit. So the next thing to do is to click next. So once you come to this part, you will see that all the objects that you have cut are all stacked among each other right here, right on top here. So you need to now set up the uh, duration, how much you want your, your parallax to run, and also now set up the camera and also your, your first uh, uh, keyframes, right? So I only have two keyframes in this. So what I'll do is now I slowly pull out all the pieces. You see the middle end, yeah. Where do you go next? Yeah, okay. So one of the things here to do is the both ends of the first and left and right. Okay. Should come back here. Left and your right number one on top of each other. Then your left two. Is the next one okay? And the left three here, and you have the middle one a bit later. So click play. Here you see how it goes. Now you can see that the parallax it all starts to go and move in and form the final picture, but it doesn't go very smooth. So what we do is now we are going to adjust all these together to make sure that it moves smoothly. So play around with these different length in the middle and the top, then you will be able to see how this parallax move. See how this Think it's moving in slowly. Yeah. So this one way for you to now adjust. Okay. Now the first thing here I do is to set my first uh, camera. It was zero, but I've set it to large here, 56. So I reset it first. So in the beginning, this is like this. So, so the first frame is I set it to around 56 or zoom in okay then the second keyframe is to bring it down so i set a second keyframe at about here double click here you can always do your keyframe here or here yeah so second keyframe i reset it to zero so then you start from zooming in see the layer here Oh, sorry, zoom out. Yeah, and you see the zoom out, you see these houses moving in tandem step by step going through that. All right, so if you just, just make sure that you have all these uh, cutouts in place. Yeah, and if you want it to be a longer period uh, for the zooming in and zooming out, you can always adjust here. So this way you can see how the parallax will move. Okay, this is part two, where I put this uh, finished uh, MP4 moving house into my favorite uh, editor, uh, not editor, it's a favorite program here, Create Studio. So if you don't have Create Studio, you can always uh, download one uh, and buy one from the link below.
So these are all the components inside this uh, Create Studio, and I show you how I actually add this to enhance and make this picture comes out and tell the story, right? So let me introduce you to all the other elements inside here first. Okay. So you notice that I have got uh, a couple of more, um, yeah, transformation to the pictures. I've got two. One I call it Glow Street, and then uh, the other one is Fade Street. So this one is done outside of uh, Create Studio. You can do it in Photoshop or you can do it any other editor, but I did this in the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. So I transformed the picture into this format. And then the next one is I transformed the other picture into this format. So I combine these two formats together and add in a text to give it a intro. So from within here, you can animate them and uh, do doodle to it or do uh, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, as an introduction to the to this topic on the parallax and when i have this done these are the animations on this part right then only i put in this uh, moving house straight road actually call it moving house moving houses so this is my finished work from the uh, parallax Okay, and I put in the text and let it run. Yeah, so when you put in the text also, animate your text, so the text moves in and out and give the feel of a parallax move. Yeah, and add in uh, some more text and finishes it off. So I duplicated one of them here. Yeah, and put in logo. And then you add in a music track. So this one is the music track. And there you go. So Create Studio is really, really flexible. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff here. Or you can do this in your other uh, editor. So check it out. Yeah, if you don't have Create Studio, then you can always buy it from the link below. Thank you for watching.